Why the HH-60 Pavehawk can't survive a real war? The HH-60 Pavehawk is a legendary rescue chopper, but under a hail of modern fire, experts worry it can't survive a real high-intensity war. Why? Let's be blunt. The Pavehawk is based on the robust but decades-old UH-60 Blackhawk. It lacks the advanced low-observable shaping or composite armor of true stealth aircraft, making it highly detectable by modern radar and infrared sensors. It's a big, loud target. In conflicts against high-tech adversaries, the threat isn't just small arms. It's modern man-portable air defense systems, man pads, and sophisticated surface-to-air missiles, SAMs. The Pavehawk's speed and countermeasures, while effective against older threats, struggle against newer digitally guided missiles. Combat Search and Rescue CSIR means flying into the most contested deadly airspace to save downed pilots. This mission profile is inherently high risk, demanding maximum stealth speed and defense, areas where the older Pavehawk is now severely outclassed by the escalating threat environment. The U.S. Air Force recognizes this danger, that's why they are rapidly transitioning to the HH-60W Jolly Green II. This successor boasts greater range, enhanced defensive systems, and improved networking to handle the deadly complex battle space of a near-peer conflict. Do you think the Pavehawk is still viable? Tell us in the comments, like, and subscribe for more military reality checks.